we are here in Bio community in the local government area of River State doing symbolic planting of mangrove to recover the polluted environment of Ogoni, for which the Ogoni Nine were killed in 1995, 37 years today. So you can see everywhere is polluted. Ogoni is still polluted. The cleanup has not been properly done to the extent that the environment can be properly recovered. And the reason for which those people died 27 years ago has not been achieved. Because we know quite well that the Ogoni struggle were hinged on three pillars. Environmental degradation, like you can see, for the cleanup to be carried out, compensation paid to the people that have been impacted by this. And then we talk about the economic strangulation. Because of this massive environmental pollution, the people do not have fish anymore. They can't fish, they can't farm. Everywhere is polluted. And we also have the issue of political marginalization. A situation whereby Ogoni people have not been properly represented in both states and federal institutions. For example, since the creation of River State in 1967 to today, 2022, an Ogoni man has not been governor, an Ogoni man has not been deputy governor, an Ogoni man has not been chief judge, and an Ogoni man has not been the speaker of the state assembly. If we can be this marginalized, then why wouldn't the Ogoni people agitate for opportunities in the Nigerian system? So we are remembering the Ogoni Nine today, and we are planting this mangrove to see how we can recover the environment so that fishermen and farmers can begin to have their environment back. So we call for solidarity and for us to have opportunity support to be able to plant ma more mangrove so that the younger people can have a better environment because we can perceive the order of hydrocarbon here and this is poisonous to the health of the people. So we call for support, we call for partnership, we call for collaboration to remember the Ogoni Nine by having our environment restored so that fishing and farming can thrive again. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Ido bariya. E kome ni e ama. Be elu e do kome isuwa. E kome pia sane. Ja ibuga me ba alu. E ba alu. E buside ale. E barido nage kome. Logo nu alu bo. A do. E sa yi netanga. De de nu. Ki an bo e fe lo yon be Jesus. Amen. Yon be wo. Msi ke yi do ya. E do an asan. E kome e fe lo ne yi bara. De de nu yi ko. A do wa. Logo an an nu yi le ba. E yon be li te la po. A le na. E yon be Jesus. Amen. Ten de Frederick. Bo e ba. The Paramount Chief of Gure Nogoni Land. I'm the person who receives Ken Sarowewa on the 30th of July 1994 to this community at this very centre. He spoke so many things. He spoke on how they are going to assassinate him and do every sort of things. It was here, he said his own last word. And today, the NGO, though I don't know their, their address, has come here to celebrate his death day. I'm the chief who received him on that 30th July 1994. Who received it? NGO today. Thank you very much.
fine face. I am the Executive Director, Youths and Environmental Advocacy Center, YEAC Nigeria. I am also an indigenous person from the Ogoni area of River State, Niger Delta region of Nigeria. As we celebrate the 2022 Indigenous People's Heroes Day and Global Day of Action for Climate Change, it is my solidarity message from Ogoni Land, from Youth and Environmental Advocacy Center for all the indigenous people around the world. We are in solidarity and we have to work to preserve the legacies of our hero. We have to stand for our right. We have to fight for our future. We have to fight for our land. We have to fight for the, the legacies of the indigenous people for which they have been killed over time. We in Ogoni Land, we are remembering the 27th anniversary of the killing of Kensa Wiwa and eight others in 1995 by hanging for their role in preserving the legacies and fighting for the rights of the Ogoni indigenous people. So as you mark the 2022 Indigenous People's Day and Global Day of Action for Climate Change, I want you to understand that your land has a role to play in climate change. What is being done on your land has a role to play in climate change and you must take your own future into your own hands by fighting for your land fighting for your rights, fighting for your future, and fighting for the generation of yet unborn indigenous children. This is our future that we are talking about here. So I urge you to be firm. I urge you to fight for your legacy. I urge you to endeavor not to let go the legacy of the indigenous people of the years past. With solidarity from Ogoni land, Niger Delta region of Nigeria, I wish you the best of celebration as we mark the Indigenous People's Day 2022 and Global Day of Action for Climate Change. Solidarity from Nigeria. Thank you very much.